Okay, out there in Marvelland, face front, this is Stan Lee speaking. You've probably never heard a record like this before because no one would be nutty enough to make one with a bunch of offbeat artists, so anything is liable to happen. Hey, who made you a disc jockey, Lee? Well, well, Jolly Jack Kirby, say a few words to the fans, Jackson. Okay, a few words. Look, pal, I'll take care of the humor around here. You, you've been using the same gags over and over for years. Well, you can't accuse me of being fickle, can you? By the way, Jack... The readers have been complaining about Sue's hairdo again. What am I supposed to do? Be a hairdresser? Next time I'll draw her bald-headed. Boy, I'm glad we caught you and you were in a good mood. Oh, Stan, do you have a few minutes? For our fabulous gal Friday? Sure. Say hello to the fans, Flo Steinberg. Hello, fans. It's very nice to meet you. As Marvel's corresponding secretary, I feel as though I know most of you from your letters. By the way, Saul Brodsky wants to say a few words. Saul Brodsky? Who's he? Stan, the fans know you have a bad memory by all the mistakes you make, but this is ridiculous. He's been your associate for years. Really? We ought to start paying him one of these days. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. And how come I don't get my name plastered all over the mags like you do? Because I can't spell it, that's why. Well, as long as you've got a good reason. Hey, what's all that commotion out there, Sol? Why, it's shy Steve Ditko. He heard you making a record and he's got Mike fright. Whoops, there he goes. Out the window again? You know, I'm beginning to think he is Spider-Man. You mean he isn't? Who said that? Just that lovable old letter of me. It's adorable Addie Simic. What brought you here? The subway. Oh, well, ask a bonehead question, Flo. Stan, Sam Rosen is on the phone. How are the letterer? My competitor? Just for fun, Artie, you talk to him. Hi, Sam. This is Artie. How's it going, pal? Just great, Artie. I sure admire your lettering. I admire yours too, Sam. I think you're tops. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. The pleasure was all mine. I never could stand that guy. Well, that's our Artie. Just imagine what Sam is saying about him now. Well, let's see who else we can get on this record. How about Chick Stone? Okay. Hi, Chick. How's tricks? Fine, Stan. I'm reading the latest story. It's great. What a thriller. Now, that's what we like to hear, Chick. Which one of our comics is it? Who's reading a comic? This is a novel about James Bond. I can't wait to finish it. Well, we're going to miss Chick around here. Oh, look who just came in. Kid Daredevil himself, Wally Wood. Is that a tape recorder, Flo? You know I'm afraid to talk into these machines. I can never think of anything to say. I'm not a big talker. I shut up like a clam. I get struck dumb. My mind goes okay, blank. Okay, okay, okay. Forget it. Boy, I'd hate to hear you when you feel like talking. Stan, Dick Ears is on the phone. Let's surprise him. Hi, Dick. We have a recorder playing, and you're talking to millions of people right now. You're some kind of nut or something? I just want to tell you I want to raise. Dick, don't you understand? People are listening. You're talking to the whole world. I always knew you'd crack someday, Lee. Just my luck, it had to happen when I asked you for some more dough. Well, I'm going back to Sergeant Fury. Goodbye. Another phone call for you, Stan. Oh, not anymore. I'm getting an earache. But it's Don Heck. The idol of the Iron Man fans? The ace of the Avengers? Hi, Don. What's doing? Uh, Stan, I was just wondering, uh, wasn't I supposed to draw Iron Man last week? Sure. Why do you ask? So how come you mailed me a Patsy Walker script? Yipe! Did I do that? That's awful. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll send it back to you. That's not why I'm worried. I must have sent your script to Al Hartley. I can just imagine Iron Man looking like Patsy Walker this issue. Okay, talk to you later, Don. Don't worry about it, Stan. Don't you remember that Al Hartley used to draw adventure strips? It may not be too bad. Well, well, look who's here. Stan G., our demon colorer. I've been meaning to talk to you, Stan. When are you going to remember it's the Hulk who has green skin, not Captain America? Gee whiz, the guy can't remember everything. Anyway, I had to tell you what MMMS meant last week, and you're the guy who made it up. But when I forget something, it's different. Yeah, it's worse. Stan, this is the most confused record I ever heard. Great, Sal. Just what we want. If it were anything else, it wouldn't be the nutty Marvel bullpen. Gosh, we don't have time for George Bell and Vince Coletta and Larry Lieber and Bob Powell and... That's great. Now, if we ever form another club, we'll have something new to offer. Voices that haven't been heard yet. Enough said, Sal. 
Now, let's all get back to work in the bullpen, and as for you, marvelous, merry marchers, welcome from all of us to all of you. If you want to know how glad we are to have you with us, just you listen. Okay, let them hear it, gang. Whoa! March along, 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 if you growl, if you groan, and your star is nearly zero, do not howl, do not moan, you can be a superhero, marching quiet, shout along, through the fight, kings come of the man.